I'm bringing you my spin on the comparison between the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer and the Air Wrap. Stay tuned to see if you should buy one, both, or none. Welcome and welcome back. It's Mercedes. I make home, beauty, and lifestyle content on this channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you don't miss my weekly uploads. As always, I'll include links to products discussed throughout the video in the description box. And if you like this content, quit playing, smash the like button, and leave me a comment down below so I know to keep making videos like these. Should you get one? Should you get both? It really depends on your hair type and the types of styles that you're going for. In this video, I'm just doing a comparison between the two. If you want a full length, more detailed video where I go into each of these tools separately, I'll link them down in the description box. There, I provide more detail and context on each of the two. In this video, I'm going to talk about what each of the tools are designed to be used for, my overall thoughts about how it compares with the other one, and then close it on out. Okay, let's start with the Dyson Airwrap. So just like the supersonic hair dryer, it comes with this case, this storage case or presentation case, as Dyson likes to call it to be fancy. It comes with the case. It obviously comes with the Airwrap tool. It also comes with a number of attachments. So I'll go through them very quickly so you know what they are. It comes with this 1.6 inch long barrel. This produces looser waves and curls. It also comes with another barrel, which is the 1.2. This one produces tighter waves and curls. It also comes with a volumizing brush. So this allows you to add body to the hair as it dries. It also comes with this smooth drying brush for hair that's finer, allows you to lengthen the hair as it dries. It also comes with this firm smoothing brush, which allows you to do the very same thing, but for coarser or coilier hair. And then it comes with the smoothing attachment, which allows you to smooth the hair out, get rid of those flyaways that you often get after you've styled your hair. And the last attachment that it comes with is just a cleaning brush. So it allows you to clean the Dyson after each use. Okay, so that's everything the Dyson comes with. This Dyson Air Wrap is marketed for all hair types. Really, I had to double check the website. Like, really Dyson? Is it good for all hair types? So it says it's marketed for straight, wavy, curly, and coily hair types. Here's what I'll say, I won't hide it is you can absolutely use this product and there's lots of demos on YouTube showing this product being used with coily, with curly, 100%. The reality is though, is you will absolutely probably need to use something that's higher heat and need to straighten that hair before you actually see like this product be worthwhile. And I think that's just the honest truth about this product. I think it works better when the hair is straightened. So you just have to get the hair into a more straight state, which, you know, it comes along with different attachments that allow you to get to that point. But this product is just going to hold up the best, produce curls that are more defined using the barrel attachments when the hair is in a straighter state. So if you have wavier hair, if you have tight curly hair and if you have coilier hair like I do you're going to want to get your hair straighter. This product might be for you if you don't mind straightening the hair before you curl it which might be a no-brainer but I do think that is worth saying. This is a solid product. I, if you watch my review and you should watch my review on the Dyson Airwrap separately, I say it in that video that I do really like this product and I would purchase it again. I will purchase it again when this one is no longer functional because I do think that it is worthwhile. I do like that it accomplishes beautiful styles with minimal heat. I like the technology. I love the way it looks. So, you know, I already said in that video, I'm a sucker for packaging. So I, I would say this product, if you're willing to straighten your hair, you won't um, be sorry if you pick this up. Okay, let's shift gears now and actually talk about the supersonic hair dryer. Like, don't that just sound fancy? 
or maybe it just sounds unnecessary and complicated. But anyhow, this is the Supersonic Hair Dryer. I got mine, clearly they're both in the same colorway because you know this is the blue blush, which is really hard to get, if not impossible to get right now. I just wanted to say that. But anyhow, let's, as we did with the air wrap, go through what it comes with. So it obviously comes with the blow dryer. It also comes with this storage or presentation case as well. And in the case, it comes with a number of attachments. This is the diffuser attachment. The diffuser attachment allows you to get a frizz-free curl or wave that sort of mimics a natural air dry. So this is a dope attachment if you have curly or wavy hair. It also comes with a smoothing attachment. So this is the smoothing attachment. So it allows you to smooth the hair out and get rid of those flyaways just as the version that comes along with the air wrap does. It also comes with this wide tooth comb attachment. This allows you to lengthen the hair and straighten the hair as it dries. This is particularly helpful for folks who have wavy, curly, and coily hair. It also comes with this concentrator attachment. The concentrator attachment allows you to really section off and blow dry your hair one section at a time, um, which is really dope attachment. And then the last attachment that it comes with is the gentle hair attachment. So this is for folks who have sensitive scalps or finer hair. So this diffuses the air in a way that that's actually just a little more gentle. Those are all the attachments that come along with the blow dryer. Let me just also not hide the ball here. The blow dryer, solid. I said that in my review. Again, check out the review video where I go into more detail, but this is a solid product. This is a high quality blow dryer, minimizing heat damage through the Dyson patented technology. One, beautiful presentation. Two, solid materials, right? They've been around for a while. Um, the attachments that you're able to use, second to none. I feel like they're pretty solid. So to me, it was a no brainer to get the dryer. Regardless of your hair type, you can use the Dyson hair dryer. Like it will absolutely work. And in fact, some people might use the Dyson hair dryer to get their hair drier, straighter before they go in with their air wrap. I didn't say this earlier, but the air wrap is not designed to be used on wet hair. It's designed to be used on dry or damp hair. I almost always use it on dry hair. I fully dry my hair with the blow dryer and then I go in with the air wrap to style my hair. When it comes to my overall recommendation, you've heard me say already that I like both of these hair tools and I would buy them both all over again. So I would buy both. I mean, they are expensive. There is a pretty solid alternative for the air wrap out there. And there's obviously um, solid alternatives for the hair dryer as well. It's just a matter of preference. It was a yes for me. So I would say if you have the resources and you want them both, then get them. By all means, get both of them. They have a lot of similar functions. Some of the technology and both of them is the exact same. You saw already that they come with pretty similar styling attachments. So there is that. So that, you know, one might say there's duplication between the two and therefore you don't need them both. Here's what I'll say. Again, it depends on your hair type. With the Dyson Airwrap, you gotta work a little harder to get the styles that Dyson shows on their websites that you often probably see in the demos and tutorials all over YouTube. You do have to work a little harder depending on both your hair type and your desired style. When it comes to the air, the actual hair dryer, this is designed to dry your hair. It just comes along with some really cool attachments that help you style it, but this is ultimately a hair dryer from wet to dry, from damp to dry and styled, but for the most part, probably from dry to style. So it really just depends. What are you willing to do based on how your hair is in its natural state and also what style do you want to accomplish in the end? Thanks for watching. Remember to smash the like button and comment down below what your favorite product is. Subscribe if you like what you see and don't sleep on my other videos. I know I'm just starting out, but they ain't half bad. I'll include my video playlist so you can get all caught up. Bye.